Um, so, okay, so here's the thing. So this is, yes, I'm a Halloween purist. And uh, what that means is, is that I, I appreciate the original Halloween, its intention. Uh, the original Halloween was supposed to be a one-off film. Sure, they made the subsequent sequels, but I, I, I really appreciate and love when we do our best to try and preserve the integrity of the enigma, the mystique uh, of the original film. Everything from Michael Myers to the cinematography, to the mood, the atmosphere, the lighting. It's For me, it's like a 90-minute Hitchcock in Twilight Zone episode. And and that's almost what it was supposed to be. And I've often said that Michael's gone at the end of the movie not to set up a sequel, but to bring the moral, the message of the movie home. That that that's was the whole thing. That That is the end of the movie. You can't kill the boogeyman. Um, so I'm a Halloween purist. And every time I watch the subsequent sequels or watch a new iteration of a Halloween film, I am always automatically, even when I try not to, am looking for that. I'm, I'm paying attention to the visual aesthetic, the lens choices, the camera movement, the lighting, the mood, the atmosphere, because that is just as much of a character within Halloween as the house or Michael or Dr. Loomis, and arguably could be the most important character of all. And when that was released, removed, in my opinion, was removed from the H-18 film. I've always said that Halloween 18 is not a bad horror movie. It's just not a very good Halloween movie. And I've often said that because of the, there, there were a lot of warm tungsten sort of lighting. Uh, we saw him a lot. There, the, the film, in my estimation, was largely void of any real suspense or stalking or lurking. There's little bits here and there. But overall, I walked out of the 18 film from TIFF at the world premiere feed feeling disappointed. I was disappointed. I was. I don't hate the movie. I just was disappointed. I think it needed more. So over the last three years, I've been tempering my expectations. If you followed me for any length of time, you know that I've been telling people, depending on what you, depending on whether you like this new Halloween film or not, will probably largely depend on what, what you want from your Halloween film. Um, and I went into this really doing my best to put my expectations aside. I know the probability is high that there's probably going to be things in there that doesn't jive with me that I don't like. But I really, I've said it before, I'll say it again. For those of you that watch me, you know I've said it. I'm going to treat this like I'm going on a ride. Like it's a ride at Disney World or a ride at Universal or whatever. It's just a ride. I'm going, and when you're on a ride, you're not, you're not you know, overthinking it. You're not over intellectualizing it. You're just sort of enjoying as it comes. Well, that didn't, well, that was because it's a ride, you know? And so you're a little forgiving because it's a ride. And I felt that I needed to do that going into this movie to enjoy the film on some sort of level. And then if there's things that surprise me, I'm like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. That's really cool. Okay. And then maybe I enjoyed a little bit more. Everything that you've said and that Cody said and that uh, uh, Cecil has said, um, you're not wrong. Uh, I mean, I did notice those things, the, the certain sort of pacing of the movie, uh, the overselling of certain lines, the, a bit of the overuse of the, you know, evil dies tonight. Um, you know, some of the, yeah, it felt like there was a, it was a bit wonky in certain areas in relation to the to the character development or lack thereof. Some characters felt completely unutilized. Um, that's not wrong. I, I didn't notice that when I was seeing it. But I think what they did well, at, at least way better than what came before in H18, which was they changed the tone and the aesthetic to match more of a Halloween feel in comparison to the 2018 film. So gone... Gone were largely the tungsten warm. I mean, you know, you still had that inside when you have a lamp, of course. But in terms of the way it looked and the feeling and all that kind of stuff, I, I felt like I was on that ride. I felt like, a, wow, they're doing a really good job. Like I'm at Halloween Horror Nights at Universal or something. You know what I mean? Like it felt very like I'm really enjoying watching this. And I thought the flashback was really well done. I thought the attention to detail in terms of the Myers house and that thing that broke the wind. This is not a... Uh, spoiler of some people but you know what i'm saying the the attention to detail at the myers house and and the way things looked from the set deck and the design and the cop outfits and everything it felt like i was in 1978 it felt like an extension of that night and because the movie essentially begins with that that's not a spoiler um immediately it gets people like me and halloween purists because that's what we love 
kind of you're you're into it immediately because there's this you know this flashback right um and i think they did a tremendous job with it there's a few things i'll talk about in the spoiler review and the flashback that i didn't like but overall i appreciated it i, I appreciated the tonal shift um, which allowed me to appreciate the nuance of what they were trying to do. And there are, in my opinion, a few moments in this film of genuine suspense, not theater of the mind suspense, not slow burn, like really, you know, wild carpenter. No, 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 no. I mean, obviously it's, it's modernized, but there's a few moments where you're like, and there's a few moments, there's that moment where there's that person hiding in the, in the such and such, you know, and Myers is there searching for them and, and he's looking around and, and I, I'm sitting here and I'm like, this is actually kind of tense. Like this is, this is, I feel suspense here. They're drawing this out. I didn't get that in 18. And you get that with the way things look in terms of the aesthetic and the light and shadow and the moon coming in. I'm like, I, I really appreciate what they're trying to do here. They've, they've clearly made a switch and it feels more like Halloween than 18 did for me. So I think that's why, and every time something would come up in terms of what you guys were talking about, I was like, oh, I'll just put that in the back for now, you know, because <laughs> I just want to enjoy this for what it is. So I had fun watching this um, for what it, was what what it was giving a purist like me but that doesn't mean that i didn't recognize or it's completely oblivious to some of the issues that people are talking about does that make sense does that make sense to people in the chat room it's kind of how i've why i i think it really comes down to the real tempering of expectations and going in and just kind of taking it as is 